Ma. Okay. So I have Robert McRae and Paul Coaster, and this is um, my presentation of the of the two. So Robert was a personal psychiatrist, and he was associated with the five factor um, personality. The five factor personality was a biological view of the personality. And when you think about the personality is with the brain, it's how you function. It's um, all of that shaped in one. So he really had like a big role with dealing with those. Um, and he was an influencer within the culture, um, how the skills are shaped, how the habits, how the taste, how the values of an individual, how just we look at ourselves as a whole, um, how we go about different things, how we think about different things. So he played a big part in the psychology um, aspect as learning about ourselves as a whole. So Coastal and McGee, um, was very important in the ESCO play when identifying the um, the personality factors. The two things that they made important was agree, agree, agreeables and consistencies. Um, and the fundamental question is whether or not the traits of the description of how people in different cultures describe themselves, how they function, how they react. Um, and finding ways to come together as one um, and seeing how different people like in America, China, India, Africa, how they cultural changes daily um, and how their personality changes, how they act and just finding ways to agree with that um, and finding ways to get them to adjust to that. And human nature can't be independent of a culture, neither can human personality. Um, human beings do not share certain norms or rules within the culture of the group. Like things that we do in America, people in China don't do and people that come to China have to adjust to the things that we do in America or if we move to China, we have to adjust to there. So the personality changes, um, even like different culturals do different things. Um, like the way that we say yes ma'am and no ma'am, some people of North do not do that. So getting adjusted to different norms, um, so their goal was to come to an agreement, come to um, a way to allow a human personality to adjust to the nature of the culture and um, as a whole. So Paul Coastal um, set measures and um, he was a, he lived, um, around the psychology type part. He was an influencer on behavior. Um, and the situational modules where individuals behavior will flat on lasting, you know, as a longevity and the health. So his part more was the behavior aspect of everything and how our actions affect the roles of different things that we um, do because we have our part of where Paul, Robert talked about the psychology part, about the personality part and where, I mean, Robert, sorry. And then Paul talked about more about the behavior aspect where they both combined into one, but they both have different views. And when you take a look at it, um, our actions speak louder than our words. So we have to, that's also going back to adjusting and getting them aware of the norms that are taking place, even with behavior. Some ways we were raised, um, it has changed over time and getting used to the trends and adjusting because some ways that we were used to as we were younger are not ways as we grow. So our behaviors changed um, 
even how we look at um, when we when our life changes and we move different places just like to go back how people say yes ma'am and no ma'am if someone was to approach me that's younger than me and don't say yes ma'am and no ma'am I may feel some type of way about it but they may think that it's okay but being that I was raised up in the south a lot of people may not think that I'm reacting in a proper way because I'm used to someone saying yes ma'am or no ma'am but to them they're not used to that so they're just trying to come to an agreement and try to get people on one of court um, all together. So Paul and Robert are extraordinary products research team that had worked together um, back in 1975. Um, and together they developed the Neo personality inventory to measure um, neutral rhythm, ext extroversion, and openness, and later they developed the agreement and the constancy. So the big five tells you about yourself, your strengths, and your weaknesses. It tells you um, about things as yourself that you may lack. It tells you things about um, how some areas you may be stronger than others just like myself like I, my weaknesses is being an overthinker my strength is being a team leader um and learning about the big five taking different um, personality tests um taking different things to figure out myself as a whole and how you know some people are not able to adjust to my ways that's learning my strength and weaknesses and things that i may have to work on that's even like in a job setting learning about things that some people that you work with are from different cultures and different backgrounds and some things you're not going to agree on. So that's learning their strengths and weaknesses, learning and combining your strengths and weaknesses to make one team. Um, also developing over several decades an independent group of researching and finding ways that human can come to an agreement on the different personality traits and their behavior um talked about issues as a call cross situation of the characters um within yourself and different people that you meet so that is all that i have here are my references um and learning from these two i learned the importance of your personality learning the per importance of your brain and how you function learning how your behavior can affect anything that you do um learning how the decisions that you make today can affect the decisions of i mean your future of tomorrow so you have to be mindful you have to um sometimes adjust and be uncomfortable in situations that you may not think um that are uncomfortable to others but it may be uncomfortable to you because you're not used to that so learning how to adjust in different cultures um, it's something that I definitely take and learn from this. So thank you all.